नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग रेट्रोग्रेड मोशन ऑफ द प्लैनेट जुपिटर एज जुपिटर व्हिच इज करेंटली ट्रांसिटिंग इन द एरी साइन बट ऑन सितंबर 4th विद इन द एरी साइन ऑन 21 डिग्रीज वेयर जुपिटर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिटिंग इन द भरानी नक्षत्र वेयर जुपिटर विल टर्न इनटू रेट्रोग्रेड मोशन एंड फ्रॉम सितंबर 4th till december 31st jupiter is going to be in a retrograde motion so even guys on uh, december 31st jupiter will finish its retrograde motion but it is still going to be within the boundaries of aries sign only so it will finish its retrograde uh, on 11 degrees of aries which is going to be the region of the ashwini nakshatra so guys uh, when it comes down to the result or impact of that so definitely guys because whenever a planet is in a retrograde motion it somehow in increases the retrospective qualities of its attributes and second thing is that because it also gives rise to the chesta bal as well so that means a planet is in a way stronger its impact is going to be very strongly felt by all of us and like the way guys whenever any of these transition is happening you also have to see that transition in um combination with how other planets are going to be behaving during that uh, moment during that exact minute so guys uh, at the time when uh, jupiter is going to be turning retrograde first of all it is going to be turning retrograde in the nakshatra of venus bharani nakshatra now bharani which has been described as one who bears like there is a lot of transformative a uh, death like state like when i say death it's not the death of the life here i mean to say finishing and kind of completion of the task naiveness lot of wisdom which can be attached with the signification of the bharani second thing is that guys during at the same time only the lord of bharani venus is going to be finishing its retrograde motion as well and during this time it is very special because transiting moon is going to be conjunct with jupiter and rahu as well so all of that is indicating that definitely something in the matters of relationship is going to be the epicenter or the theme of this retrograde motion of the planet jupiter second thing is that a lot many times guys what happen is that whatsoever major things are happening in our life they are not every time is going to be leaving a lasting impact in our life but during this time because moon is going to be conjunct with jupiter when exactly it is going to be turning a uh, kind of retrograde so that also tells about that it will definitely impact us on a very deeper level as well and guys because uh, jupiter has got the so many diversified portfolios department and it is the significator of so many houses so many departments in our life that definitely if such a important planet is going to be turning retrograde all of these areas of your life like when we talk about the matters of relationship your education your finances progeny your public image so all these uh, departments will definitely going to be kind of uh, experiencing the energy in a very erratic way so if only in two words if i were to describe the energy of any retrograde motion so definitely one point is going to be that planet starts acting very erratic and second is that definitely there is a lot of the retrospective qualities which get attached to it and guys uh, because whenever jupiter is in the aries the good part about this placement of jupiter is that because we attached somehow jupiter with the blessings and with the goodness and aries is the sign which kind of promises new beginnings so in any so area of your life like this is your lagan we will definitely have our discussion on that as well so if you have been facing any hardship like you have been uh, putting whole of your efforts but you were not able to initiate something or let's say for example your opportunity got slipped from your hands right at the last minute or this could be the case that just because you did not have the relevant resources you did not have the relevant connections things did not work out for you so even in during that front as well this retrograde motion of jupiter in the aries could be beneficial for you and definitely guys whenever we talk about jupiter which has to do with the blessings which has to do with the grace so going deep within um like leap of faith um getting those a uh, vision and kind of you know prophetic dreams and uh, progressing in the life because of the blessings which are there in your 
karmic account so all of that could be attached as some of the theme of this uh, upcoming retrograde motion of the planet jupiter but like the way guys i already mentioned this thing nothing happens out of the ordinary in the nature if so many transition is happening right at the time when jupiter such an important planet is turning retrograde so many things with that i meant that moon transiting moon is going to be conjunct with it and the nakshatra lord uh, of Bharani which is Venus is also going to be transitioning in its uh, motion so that definitely means that it is going to have a lasting impact in all of our lives also guys even if we will look at the way uh, all other planets are going to be contributing Sun is going to be in its strongest dignity transiting in its own sign conjunct with Mercury and Saturn is also going to be in a strengthened state so definitely guys even if uh, Saturn and Sun are going to be in a opposition so that also tells about that something which is very uh, kind of very concrete something where your public image and your service to the world is also going to be involved over there so okay guys let's just uh, start our discussion customized to all the lagnas so starting first with the aries lagna natives so definitely guys because in your case jupiter is the most auspicious planet it is a planet of blessing and good fortune for everyone but just because in your case it has got the rulership over the ninth house as well so it becomes extra important for you guys and it is going to be turning retrograde right over there in your first house so guys just because uh, during this time the underlying theme is going to be somehow being uh, flavored with the colors of venus so that in itself tells about that definitely in the matters of your finances in the matters of your relationship this will definitely bring some transition and guys try to understand this thing that because whenever rahu is transiting in the first house being conjunct with jupiter it is not a very healthy conducive energy and i'm very much sure that within the relationship it might have created a lot of confusion let's say for example you have been single for long so jupiter might have put this thought that marriage might not be meant for you or let's say for example if you severed ties within the relationship or with someone very loved very close to you so Rahu might have put you in this mindset that why should you compromise because the transit of Rahu from the first house also kind of you know <laughs> expands the ego um, in a very uh, negative way like one thing is that being dignified being graceful but Rahu you know that it's like a balloon with no uh, kind of just a head without any body so many times it also enhances the ego as well so the good point uh, the good part over here is that this retrograde motion of jupiter in your first house will actually give you access to what is good for you right advice uh, will come to you you will also be very much attuned towards your life goal uh, what you set out to do in the life let's say for example in any way any of the concerns of immigration foreign opportunity or uh, like uh, even uh, something where your public image is concerned like which becomes very important for the influencers for uh, people connected with media politics and all so definitely guys this is going to be a very good news and the good part over here is that all those opportunities which got lost in the past and for all those people because Jupiter Rahu being in the first house many times make a lot many people uh, victim of the politics uh, backstabbing gossip and rumors so even if you have been victim of all these things as well where people have been uh, putting lot many allegations on you without any base to it without any truth to it so this retrograde motion of Jupiter will definitely dig out the truth out there in the world as well so overall guys from the Aries people's point of view I only have good things to say definitely in the matters of your relationship in the matters of your finances you will get the clarity and all the lost opportunity can also be regained reclaimed during this time now guys for all the uh, Taurus Lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that uh, Jupiter is going to be turning retrograde right over there in your 12th house so guys to begin with uh, although Jupiter is not a very good planet for you but just because in the original Karl Purush Kundli Jupiter has got lot to do with the uh, 12th house which is the house of uh, surrender which is the house of you know uh, astral beings uh, your intuitive powers prophetic dreams now guys try to understand this thing whenever we talk about accessing good results 
from the uh, 8,000 and the 12,000. That requires going deep within. You cannot find the answers or cannot get the results from the 8,000 or 12,000 without surrendering to the universe. So the good part over here is that your intuitive faculties will definitely put you in the right direction. Second thing is that guys, because in your case, uh, Jupiter has got the rulership over your 8,000 and the 11,000 and now it is going to be turning retrograde in the 12th house so one thing is for sure guys because um till the time jupiter is in the aries it is also expecting the uh sagittarius sign its own mul trikona sign as well so any of the matters of joint resources if that is getting applicable in your case over there uh, there could be some clarity there could be some sudden uh financial um you know like a lot many times what happen is that you might not be aware about some uh, big chunk of money which is hidden from you or like this could be whether uh, within your uh, family as well or this could be because of the line of work as well like let's say for example you are in insurance you are in revenue you are an astrologer so in any way you did not know about this big opportunity which could have kind of open doors for you so those kind of opportunities can be claimed and also guys anything to do with the foreign land if 12th house is right now active in your life like in any way like your uh like your um mars mahadasha is currently on mars is active in antardasha or even if jupiter is active in the antardasha or in the mahadasha as well so then definitely guys clarity in the matters of 12th house closure clarity and also guys because uh when we talk about the uh relationship specifically because uh this uh transit has got lot to do with the pertaining to the matters of relationship and also guys because it is bharani uh it is energy of venus where there is a lot of the passion charm and sexual Sexuality, which is also attached over there so one thing is for sure that with whom so you have uh, established some deep bond like because guys um, uh, whenever we uh, talk about the 7th house 8th house uh, 12th house there is a lot of intimacy which is also uh, uh, comes in the play so let's say for example um, in till the time when um, things were uh, when Jupiter was in the direct motion, Rahu is already there in your 12th house. You had a casual fling with someone, but you are not able to get over the image of that person or the memories of that person. So uh, those people or those kind of connections coming back in your life. So in all those ways, this transit or this retrograde motion of Jupiter could be seen as profitable for you. Now, guys, for all the uh, Gemini. Now guys for all the Gemini Lagna natives, so guys in your case as you can see that uh, Jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in your 11th house which can be seen as a very good indication. The house which Jupiter is transiting, the houses which it is expecting. So guys uh, pertaining to the matters of your commercial decision making and all, this is going to be a very good transit. Now guys a lot many times what happen is that whenever uh, Jupiter and Rahu are transiting in a single house, a lot many times people get deceived, people get cheated or let's say for example. Uh, just because you were being provoked by a lot many people you try to attempt something which was beyond your reach beyond your capacity so i would say that during this time you will definitely get a lot of opportunity to rethink reevaluate on your goals on your vision on your plans and let's say for example in the past couple of uh, months if there has been some misunderstanding with your friends some sort of opportunities which got lost uh, because of some gossip or rumor which got spread around you so i would say that you will definitely get a chance to fix and reevaluate all these things definitely guys the underlying theme of this transit is about the venus in energy which has to do with the relationship which has to do with the connection so guys uh, definitely running into some uh, kind of you know uh, old connections and um, your capacity to form uh, and, and dig deeper in any of the proposal which will come to you and definitely guys overall i only have good things to say pertaining to the matters of whether relationship we call it or whether we call it the matters of your professional endeavors as well this is going to be a much rewarding transit for you and guys over here as well because uh, now very soon when uh, when rahu will leave your 11th house jupiter is definitely going to be on its own so that also tells about that yes guys for the matters of relationship wish fulfillment enhancement of the reputation like in whichever capacity you talk about whether we talk about your business commercial interest 
even from the students uh, point of view as well or people who have entrepreneur dreams and all who are awaiting those funding investment right set of opportunities so i would say overall it has only good things in store for all the gemini lagna natives now guys for all the cancer lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in your 10th house so uh, beyond doubt guys uh, when we talk about the 10th house retrograde motion of the planet jupiter now as you know that because uh, saturn is already transiting in your 8th house over and above that the energy of jupiter and rahu in the 10th house is always the energy of confusion misunderstanding gossip rumors so let's say for example if you have been subjected to all these things which have costed um, you know your bosses have now kind of lost trust in your capabilities or within the work front uh, this combination of jupiter and rahu in the past couple of months it would have created some misunderstanding and also i would say the good part is that this uh, retrograde motion of planet jupiter that too in the nakshatra of venus will definitely give you a second chance to mend those relationship or um, you know rework on all those projects where you could have shine you could have done better but you were not able to do that which actually costed your impression in the eyes of your bosses so definitely guys in all these areas this is going to be a good opportunity for a lot many cancer lagna natives and like the way guys uh, as you can see that because uh, jupiter first of all is a very auspicious planet for you and it has got the rulership over your sixth house as well and it is during this time it is expecting it back as well so that also tells about that at your work front specifically this is definitely going to be a time of improvement this is going to be a time of establishing some deeper connection with uh, people at your work front and let's say for example if there has been some goof up or some kind of you know uh, mistakes which could have happened in the past you will be able to fix it any of the opportunities which got lost and specifically guys in your case the only planet which can give you promotion a lot many times people think that it's the mars which is the yogaraka planet but no sixth house is your daily work ethics and ninth house is the house of your luck right guidance right moves so i would say jupiter is more important for you to give the right set of rise in the life so yes guys if for long you have been uh, you know kind of always been postponed and your work is not being able to come to the limelight so during this time you will definitely get a chance to put your work on the limelight and all those appraisals and review where your good work was not being recognized acknowledged during this time there is a strong chances all these things can work out in your favor now guys for all the uh, leo lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that uh, jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in your ninth house so guys um, this is definitely a very good indication because ninth house has got everything to do which gives us hope and optimism in the life like whether we talk about the material aspect of this house or whether we talk about the spiritual attributes connected with this house so guys um, because uh, jupiter is going to be uh, turning retrograde in the um uh, bharani nakshatra and even the libra navamsa like the zone where it is going to be turning retrograde like 20 degree to 23 degree 20 minutes so definitely guys uh, during this time you will be able to establish some sort of deeper connection this could be with your mentors this could be with your guides or this could be with your father as well because guys jupiter and rahu's presence in the ninth house it is not only that jupiter is turning retrograde jupiter is turning uh after a phase when it has uh, already uh, endured the uh, malefic presence of rahu for a while so now definitely degree wise rahu is away from the planet jupiter but whatsoever damage it would have done in the matters of the ninth house you will definitely get a chance to rework and reevaluate and fix that so let's say for example because guys all the good advices good thinking good thoughts are somehow connected with the trine house so let's say for example for past couple of months or weeks you have been uh, investing your energy your plans your strategies uh, in the wrong direction with the wrong people in the wrong projects so this will definitely give you a chance to make a u turn to reevaluate and fix all those damages which you would have done because of being in the wrong mindset or being in the guidance of the wrong people second thing is that definitely guys um, any of those opportunities uh, which could be connected to work or any of the concerns of immigration which have been getting delayed or postponed and a lot many times guys whether you believe this or not luck a lot many times 
plays a very pivotal role. So no matter in whichever line of work you are in, lately you have been thinking that right at the last minute, um, you know, things uh, backfire, things are not working out or I'm trying to project myself, but every time I get I get misinterpreted. So during this time, definitely uh, re-strategizing yourself, re-evaluating yourself, making your moves in a correct way will put you in the forefront. And definitely, guys, uh, because in your case, uh, Jupiter has got the rulership over your fifth house as well. So for the students as well, people connected with art, entertainment, media. So guys, uh, because uh, whenever we talk about the uh, trine houses and definitely fifth house, um, tells about our intellect, about our education, about our memory as well. So there is a strong chance that uh, if during these two, um, two, uh, two, three months, like let's say, for example, if you have to even write any competitive exam, like or you have to make any of the important call, important decision, this could be you are an artist, which uh, agency to sign up with, or if you are a student, which college to enroll, which coaching center to enroll. So any of those important decision making, you will be able to take right set of insightful decisions during this time now guys for all the uh, virgo lagna natives so guys uh, in your case this is kind of little bit sensitive because as you know that um, there is a lot of energy which is going over here because um, uh, jupiter in the eighth house not a very favorable uh, planet uh, for your uh, lagna because jupiter does not see your ascendant lord as its good friend and as you can see saturn is also giving its third aspect so guys uh, to begin with when we talk about eighth house which has to do with the joint resources which has to do with the occult so let's say for example during this time if you are in that crossroad that you have completely dedicated devoted yourself to the occult to the meditation towards the sadhana you can get the clarity and let's say for example guys because um, Jupiter and uh, Rahu in the 8th house is not a very good energy so let's say for example in the past couple of months there has been some wrong decision taken by you which has been become a very kind of you know source of your stress or mental anguish or where the some scandal broke out and you are entangled in that so I would say that during this time this retrograde motion of the planet Jupiter will definitely can act as a damage control for a lot many Virgo Lagna natives. Definitely guys, for people who are spiritual seeker, this is going to be time of epiphanies, awareness, uh, insightful vision. And also guys, any of the concerns of like specifically people who are connected with 8,000 related matters, like, you know, you are an insurance agent, or uh, you are an astrologer or insurance, revenue, taxing, in whichever field or capacity you are working in these fields. Because guys, even being an insurance agent, making more clients, getting more clients, more references becomes very important. And because Jupiter is going to be transiting in the nakshatra which represents all these things. Guys, Jupiter will start its retrograde motion uh, with being in the uh, degrees uh, where uh, it is the Libra Navamsa and also the Pushkara Navamsa as well. So definitely guys, this could be a very golden time for people who are like agent and you have to build more connection or have to get more references and some sudden speculative financial gain can materialize. And like the way I all, already mentioned this thing, if Rahu had made you or subjected you to any humiliation, any scandals and all, and you're just praying to God for a second chance or to come out clean, this retrograde motion can definitely give you that chance. Re um, listening to Vishnu Sastram and Narayana Kwach will be very therapeutic for you guys. Now guys, uh, for all the uh, Libra Lagna natives, so guys, definitely in your case, as you can see that uh, Jupiter is going to be turning retrograde right over there in your seventh house. So guys, um, as you know that uh, Jupiter is um, going to be starting its retrograde journey in the Nakshatra, which is being ruled by your Ascendant Lord. Second thing is that guys, even the that degree where it is going to be turning retrograde it is the libra navamsa and it is the pushkara navamsa pada so and guys very soon rahu is going to be leaving your seventh house as well so one thing is for sure that in the matters of your relationship this is going to be a very insightful time in the matters of your business commercial decision making all those people who are uh, like entitled and eligible for new, uh, promotion or uh, people who are connected with politics and who are influencers. So definitely guys, whether for your public image, whether for the commercial decision making in the matters of uh, matrimonial concerns and all, this is going to be a very, very insightful time. So guys, try to understand this thing that, here I'm only um, like, I'm not only talking about that something is going to happen on its own. A lot many times what happened is that because of the influence of Rahu uh, on the Jupiter from the past couple of months. So if it would have 
uh, put you in the wrong mindset or guided you in the wrong direction or because of your wrong decision making there has been some misunderstanding within your relationship or you have done something which would have severed your ties with your business partners and all so definitely guys this retrograde motion will be a time of re-evaluation taking that leap of faith getting the right advisors and intuitive faculties guiding you in the right direction so overall guys it is definitely a very auspicious time and as you know this thing that during this whole time somehow your ascendant lord is a part of it so i would say that all those proposals all those opportunities which got missed at the last minute they can be reclaimed any of the misunderstanding within the relationship uh, or i would say that even in your business strategy making and all if you have some taken some wrong decision and all so this will be a time of damage control this will be a time of reclaiming those opportunities and definitely guys whatsoever is going to be happening during this time it is going to have a very life-changing impact on you because your ascendant lord is very deeply uh, intricately intimately involved and being a part of it so overall guys although jupiter is not a very auspicious planet for you but uh, in this retrograde motion it will definitely open up doors for you now guys uh, for all these scorpio lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in your sixth house so guys um definitely uh, for you guys um the way planets are transiting right now they are definitely creating a lot of energy of stress and hardship because Saturn transiting in the fourth house and Jupiter Rahu Guru Chandal Yoga for a while in your sixth house now in your case it becomes uh, very important for you because it is the sign ruled by your ascendant Lord where this whole chemistry is taking place so definitely guys uh, one thing is for sure that Jupiter Rahu conjunction in the sixth house is never a very good energy like this is a time of you know some wrong decision in the matters of loan uh, entanglement and problem with the law and health related concern so guys the good part over here is that uh, with this uh, retrograde motion of the planet Jupiter definitely it will give you a second chance to re-evaluate re-strategize on your decision and also guys because this whole chemistry is going to be taking place in the uh, Bharani Nakshatra so like uh, and also guys uh, within the Libra Navamsa Pada and a Pushkara Navamsa Pada. So definitely guys, uh, like even if you are a part of any of the dispute, conflict, debt related situation, right set of people will come into your life who will play a very important role to help you get out of that mess which you are entangled in. And definitely guys, um, because as you can see that uh, Jupiter's transit in the sixth house and with the influence of Rahu, this was a time of pressure. Like even at your work front, I would say that if for the past couple of months, you are getting this feeling that you have been working hard, you are working with your blood and bone, but you are not getting that acknowledgement and your hard work is not getting recognized. So during this time, definitely a uh, sequence of events will definitely put your work in the limelight. So yes, guys, um, I would say that um, it is a good time for damage control. It is a good time for establishing and rebuilding connection with people uh, at your work front as well, because this whole uh, energy in your sixth house and the aspect coming in from the Saturn, it would have created the energy that because of your impulse and wrong decision at your work front, it might have costed your relationship with the co-workers as well. So yes, guys, the retrograde uh, motion of the planet Jupiter and Rahu very soon is going to be leaving your sixth house there's a lot of uh, cleaning damage control re-strategy and re-evaluating uh, establishing and uh, doing a fresh start is something which we can see or attach with the matters of your sixth house which becomes more important for all those people like you know it's like if you are uh, if you are a surgeon, if you are a doctor, if you are a health expert, if you are a lawyer. So in your case, guys, definitely, if also Jupiter is right now active, Mars is also active in any form, in Mahadasha, Antardasha. So keep on praying, keep on doing your uh, religious practices, right set of guidance, right set of people who will play a very important role will definitely come in your life and will guide you in the right direction. If you have created any mess in the matters of your sixth house, it will be a time of cleansing and damage control. Now guys, for all the Sagittarius Lagna natives, 
so guys in your case just because it is the uh, transition in the motion of your ascendant lord being transiting in the fifth house definitely it is going to have a strong impact now guys try to understand this thing that fifth house also tells about our intelligence about our memory about our comprehension so definitely for the students this is going to be a very beneficial time second thing is that even for the artist and the creative people so guys try to understand this thing jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in the bharani nakshatra uh, ruled by the planet venus and that too in the region the first time when it will start its retrograde motion the journey of retrograde motion it is going to be conjunct with moon as well over there and it is going to be uh, starting its retrograde journey in the libra navamsa pada which is also the pushkara navamsa pada so definitely guys i will not be surprised if in any capacity you are connected with art entertainment media some sudden breakthrough some sudden opportunity and uh, because guys uh, this time uh, jupiter is retrograde so some sort of opportunity which was lost or which uh, slipped from your hand at the last minute or like rather guys i would say that that is what the use of uh, understanding the knowledge of astrology and transit is now just because you know about this thing let's say for example even if things are not are uh, taking place on their own but you know that okay this was the kind of role which came to me where i was the best fit so you can even you know take up your phone and make us make some calls to try to connect the dots and the chances are going to be very strong that you might land at that deal during this time also guys even in the matters of speculation and all and if you are planning any important uh, professional changes and all so this is going to be beneficial time because fifth house is also the eighth from the tenth and also guys in the matters of love romance it's going to be a very beneficial time in the past there has been some misunderstanding guys whenever rahu jupiter is conjunct in the fifth house definitely i Uh, like i will be surprised if you will say that it did not created misunderstanding so yes guys if there has been some misunderstanding within your uh, close ties with your partner and all so things will uh, kind of settle down you will get the clarity you will get the closure or there could be a chance of restart running into someone so overall guys in the matters of uh, the uh, romance and all this is going to be time of cleansing clarity restart damage control so overall guys for the sagittarius lagna this is going to be a very very beneficial uh, retrograde motion of the planet jupiter now guys for all the capricorn lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that um jupiter has got the rulership over your uh, 12th house and the 3rd house and it is going to be turning retrograde in your 4th house so guys uh, first of all jupiter has got a very strong affinity with the 4th house in the original kal purush kundli this is the house and this is the energy where it attains exaltation second thing is that guys uh, because jupiter is going to be turning retrograde uh, in the uh, bharani nakshatra in the libra navamsa pada which is the pushkara navamsa pada as well so guys in the matters of your 4th house definitely there is going to be a much more clarity which you will get so let's say for example if this combination of jupiter and rahu in your fourth house has created some misunderstanding in the past couple of months has resulted in your relationship with the immediate family uh, environment as well and let's say for example guys if in any capacity you are connected with the public service and all this has costed like your wrong decision wrong thought process or taking everything personally has costed some of the important relationship of yours so this retrograde motion will definitely give you a second chance now guys just because uh, in this whole retrograde journey of the planet uh, jupiter venus in energy and the energy of relationship is playing a very pivotal role and guys as you know that venus is a yog karaka planet for you so definitely guys and whatsoever happens from the 4th house because it gives straight um, uh, aspect to your 10th house as well so yes guys uh, i would say that uh, during this time your domestic life uh, either you will get the clarity if there has been some misunderstanding or deep within like let's say for example a lot many times what happen is that we are in our shell like we could have done much better with our life with our, our efforts but we just kind of you know uh, putting ourselves in a secure zone so during this time the right voices will guide you right people will come into your life and definitely there will be a chance to come out of your comfort zone and do something which is going to have a good strong lasting impact 
at your profession at your career front as well and definitely guys if in any capacity you are connected with the fourth house related profession as well you are an architect you are a like a designer anything to do with uh, being a realtor and all so good opportunities will come so yes guys uh, the house where jupiter is transiting the nakshatra where it is going to be turning retrograde it's a very good time and again guys because whatsoever happens uh, in the uh, water houses like fourth house eighth house twelfth house definitely our psychic awareness and intuitive faculties catch it first so be intuitively aware and let's say for example if uh, during this time you get a chance to organize any of the uh, religious uh, part or puja at your home front that must be very much advisable or taking out time for the meditation during this time and fixing up your sleeping hours is something which i will strongly recommend because the best of the jupiterian energy impact and guidance generally comes very intuitively when we are not even expecting it so overall guys it's a good transit now for all the aquarius lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case uh, jupiter is going to be turning retrograde in your third house and just because uh, in your case, Jupiter has got the rulership over your 11th house and the 2nd house and with its aspect, Jupiter is looking back uh, your 11th house as well. So yes, guys, uh, when we talk about uh, anything to do with those strategies and initiatives which you were trying hard from the past couple of months and then you gave up. So this is going to be time when you might get a right set of thrust or motivation. Start working on all those projects which you were not able to complete that's the one thing second thing is that guys because uh, third house is a very important house for all the influencers for all the entrepreneurs and uh, self-employed people skilled people as well so yes guys this is a time of going deep within that in your line of work in your offering where you are lacking that thrust where you are lacking that competitive edge so this retrograde motion and that the whole chemistry is taking place in the nakshatra in a uh, influence of a planet which is very favorable to you so like the way i already mentioned this thing jupiter will start its retrograde motion in the bharani nakshatra in the libra navamsa pada uh, a pada which is pushkara navamsa as well so yes guys and because like the way we say this thing that whenever a planet turns retrograde uh, before that before um, like from direct to turning retrograde it gets stationary as well so i would say that be cautiously aware like specifically from september 3rd till september 7th how things are working out how things are developing are like people from the past are coming to your life are your friends suddenly have started giving you some advice or they are connecting the dots they are introducing you to some new people some new opportunity or um, people from the past uh, with whom you have dealt with are suddenly calling back and giving you some new business proposal or opportunity so overall guys uh, keep yourself consciously aware it is going to have some strong and positive news for you and definitely guys because third house is also the house of siblings as well so with this energy of jupiter and rahu in the third house let's say for example if it has done rahu has already done some damage in your third house pertaining to the matters of the living signification of the house because guys uh, generally rahu does very good in the upachya bhava uh, Rahu's placement in the third house is considered as one of the very best placement but Jupiter goes into Marna Karaka Vastha whenever it is transiting in the uh, third house. So Jupiter Rahu conjunction if it would have costed you the relationship, trust, understanding with your siblings, with your friends so that will also be fixed because the whole underlying theme of this retrograde motion of Jupiter is somehow is very Venus in driven, it's very relationship driven. So yes guys uh, I would say that um, uh, in your line of offering, uh, be very aware about the kind of suggestion, the kind of feedback, reviews you are receiving and definitely guys, it is going to be a time of running into some uh, and reclaiming some lost opportunity of the past and you will be able to very insightfully with a lot of strategy, you will be able to put forth your efforts during this time. Now guys, for all the uh, Pisces Lagna natives, so guys, in your case, definitely it is the retrograde motion of your ascendant lord. So it is going to have a strong meaning for you, strong impact on your life. Second thing is that guys, because from the past couple of months, because uh, Jupiter and Rahu are transiting in your second house, kind of a Guru Chandal Yoga over there. Second house, which is also the house of our immediate family. So let's say for example, in the past couple of months, if uh, this conjunction has created some misunderstanding within the family members, you will be able to fix all those 
severed ties within the family members as well let's say for example this could be because of your wrong thinking wrong use of words if it has costed your relationship or your kind of happiness on the account of immediate family members you will definitely get a chance to rework on those relationship because guys as you know that this uh, retrograde motion is taking place in the bharani nakshatra being ruled by venus and also uh, even uh, in the uh, libra navamsa pada a pada which is pushkara navamsa as well so yes guys within the uh, relationship with your immediate family it is going to be a very deep insightful time like i will not be surprised that if during this time you also get access to some uh, you know news or some sort of info on some of the family member which has been hidden from you from past so long second thing is that guys because in your case jupiter has got the rulership over your 10th house as well so let's say for example any of the matters of the finances like let's say for example this could be the past payment which has been blocked which has been delayed or within at your work front as well that if you think that uh, you deserve a raise or you deserve a promotion or any of the matters of your important financial portfolio financial management where you do not have a clarity things are getting postponed and you are not getting a closure so during this time you will definitely be able to make your moves which will uh create the energy of some good financial returns for you so overall guys for the pisces lagna natives it is definitely going to be a very impactful transit when jupiter is going to be in a retrograde motion in your second house so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for this uh, upcoming retrograde motion of the planet jupiter for all the rising signs for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page धन्यवाद